Hi, this is Jose with bedbugsupply.com. Today I'm going to show you how to properly inspect and treat couches and other furniture for bedbugs. These are proven professional strength treatment methods and are all part of our four-step do-it-yourself solution found on our website. Let's have a closer look. Every crevice and seam on your sofa is a potential home for bedbugs to hide in. When someone sleeps on the couch, they emit body heat and carbon dioxide that will draw bedbugs out of their hiding places in search of their next meal. You can inspect for bed bugs in your couch using a flashlight, a pair of rubber gloves, a magnifying glass, and a credit card for hard to reach areas. What we're looking for are signs of bed bug activity. Black spots are signs of bed bugs waste. It can also look like thin black streaks and can be seen on sheets and upholstered furniture. Molted skins are signs of bed bugs progressing through the five growth stages between hatching and reaching sexual maturity. Finding these will let you know that bed bugs have been successfully feeding and maturing over time. Dried up blood stains can be possible signs of recent feedings and are commonly found on the fabrics of your bed or sofa. Bed bug eggs are milky white and about half the size of a grain of rice. These can usually be found on hidden cracks and crevices where they won't be disturbed. Bed bugs themselves are oval and flat unless they've recently fed. When they first hatch, they're very small and hard to see. As they mature, they grow dark and red, and will get to be about the size of an apple seed. You can begin your inspection by removing the layers of cushioning from your couch, inspecting every item you remove. Since bed bugs are good at squeezing into small spaces, it's important that you leave no areas unchecked or untreated. Trace every seam, edge, and zipper from end to end using your credit card and flashlight. There are tons of cracks and crevices under the bottom of your couch. To reach those potential hiding places, you should remove the dust cover, which is mainly there for aesthetics anyway. If you find any signs of bed bugs, you're going to want to start treating your couch right away. Begin treating your couch by using a vacuum to pick up as many bed bugs, bed bug feces, and eggs as possible on the cracks and crevices of your sofa. Vacuuming for bed bugs is a great way to quickly reduce the bed bug population before steaming and applying your residual chemicals. While you could use your own vacuum, it's recommended to use a HEPA filtered PCO vacuum that features plugs and a shake free bag to prevent bed bugs from escaping the vacuum's body. After you've finished vacuuming your sofa, you can move on to the next step in the treatment process which is steaming the cracks and crevices of your couch. Steaming is the most effective and environmentally friendly way of killing bed bugs and their eggs on contact. All steamers that we carry are capable of producing steam temperatures over 180 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to kill bed bugs and their eggs on contact. To take full advantage of pinpoint nozzles, take a microfiber cloth and wrap it around the head of the accessory using rubber bands to secure it. Using the cloth breaks up the pressure coming out of the steamer and builds up the temperature at the tip of the accessory. You can steam your sofa by following all cracks and crevices using your steamer's pinpoint nozzle attachment. You want to treat around the armrests, below the cushions, and along every seam to ensure you treat as many potential hiding places as possible. If your steamer features a steam adjustment dial, turn the pressure down for flat surfaces and up to penetrate into cracks and folds. When finished, give your couch a few hours to fully dry before applying your residual chemicals. You can also use a fan in the treated area to circulate the air and speed up the drying process. After you steam clean your sofa, it's important to treat your couch with an effective residual. JT Inskills Bed Bugs Plus is a non-staining residual insecticide offering up to 12 weeks of protection against the toughest of bed bugs and their eggs. Before using JT Eaton Plus, we recommend wearing a long sleeve shirt and using a pair of chemical resistant gloves to prevent skin contact with the chemicals found inside. And remember, you should always refer to the product's label and MSDS for safe and effective usage. Begin by attaching the included straw applicator and spraying every seam, flap, crack, or crevice found on your sofa. Be sure to apply JT Eaton Plus to the zippers and seams of your cushions as well to ensure no area is left untreated. After you treat your sofa with a residual, you can prevent bed bugs from reaching you on your couch by using Climb Up Insect Interceptors. The interceptors work by using you as a lure to bring out bed bugs from their hiding spaces and towards the interceptor. 
bedbugs will climb up the edge of the interceptor and fall into a pitfall trap, which features a thin coat of talcum powder to prevent bedbugs from climbing back out. To install climb up insect interceptors on your couch, simply lift up the leg post and place an interceptor underneath. With the climb ups in place, you can stop bedbugs from being able to reach you while also monitoring their population over time. To increase the chances of attracting bed bugs to your installed monitors, you can convert them to active monitors with the inclusion of Sensei Active Lures. Sensei Active is a new, easy to use bed bug lure that slowly releases an odor that can attract bed bugs for around two to three months. If you followed and completed these steps, you can rest assured that your couch is now bed bug free. You can find our full selection of sprays, traps, steamers, vacuums, and more here on bedbugsupply.com. If you have any questions about our four-step protocol or any other products that we carry, you can reach us via live chat or call us toll-free at 866-238-9868. Again, this is Jose with bedbugsupply.com.